August the 15th, 1977, a radio telescope called a Big Ear detected a radio signal from somewhere in the vicinity of the constellation Sagittarius. And this is the printout from that night. Radio astronomers speculated that if an alien civilization wanted to communicate with us. A signal from deep space, a visitor from another star, and a revolutionary intelligence to connect them. In 2025, the secrets of the WOW signal and the interstellar object 3i Atlas are finally being unlocked. For years, these were separate mysteries. One a ghostly whisper in the night and the other a silent traveler. But not all things are what they seem. A groundbreaking quantum AI has analyzed them both, uncovering a link that scientists had missed. You see, the connection isn't just a coincidence, it's a message, and the contents are about to blow your mind. The 72 Second Enigma. You see, for nearly half a century, the WOW signal has been the holy grail for those searching for life beyond Earth. On a summer night in 1977, a radio telescope in Ohio, nicknamed the Big Ear, picked up a powerful narrowband radio signal. It lasted for a mere 72 seconds, but its intensity was off the charts, 30 times stronger than the background noise of space. An astronomer named Jerry Amon, reviewing the data printouts a few days later, was so stunned he circled the signal and wrote, wow, in the margin, and the name stuck. The thing nobody tells you is just how perfect this signal was. It was transmitted at a frequency of 1,420 megahertz, the same frequency at which hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, resonates. Scientists had long theorized that any intelligent civilization trying to communicate across the vastness of space would use this frequency as a kind of cosmic calling card. It's a protected channel, an interstellar quiet zone where earthly transmissions are forbidden. And yet, there it was, a powerful focused beam of energy coming from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. Many people are crazy about the possibilities. Could it have been a message from an advanced civilization? Or was it just some strange, undiscovered natural phenomenon? For decades, scientists have tried to find it again, pointing their most powerful telescopes at that same patch of sky, but have found only silence. The signal was a one-time event, a cosmic ghost that appeared and then vanished without a trace. Theories ranged from a previously unknown type of pulsar to a reflection of an earthly signal off a piece of space debris. But none of them fully explained the signal's unique characteristics. The WOW signal came from a region of space with no known stars or planets, making it even more mysterious. And here's where it gets really weird. Recent analysis using modern computing techniques on the original data has revealed that the signal was even stronger than first thought a whopping 250 Janskis. To put that in perspective, that's more powerful than any known natural radio source. The signal was so strong, in fact, that it would have required a transmitter far more powerful than anything we have on Earth. It was a true anomaly, a puzzle that seemed destined to remain unsolved. But not all things are what they seem. A new piece of the puzzle was about to arrive, a visitor from another star, what if the signal wasn't a message, but a signpost? A trail of cosmic breadcrumbs. Fast forward to 2025. A new object is detected streaking through our solar system. It's not an asteroid. It's not a comet from our own neighborhood. It's an interstellar visitor, the third of its kind ever detected, named 3i Atlas. And it's behaving very, very strangely. Traveling at a blistering 137,000 miles per hour, this object is moving too fast to be captured by our sun's gravity. It's on a one-way trip through our solar system, a tourist from another star system, and it's coming from the same direction as the WOW signal. Now, many people would say that's just a coincidence. Space is a big place after all. But the thing nobody tells you is that the odds of this happening are astronomical. The WOW signal came from a very specific, very small patch of sky. For an interstellar object to arrive from that same direction is like throwing a dart from across the country and hitting the bullseye on a board you can't even see. It's a statistical improbability of the highest order. And the weirdness doesn't stop there. As 3i Atlas gets closer to our sun, it starts to heat up and release gas, like a typical comet. But the gas it's releasing is anything but typical. Scientists using the Very Large Telescope in Chile detected a massive spike in nickel and cyanide but strangely, no iron. 
In the cosmos, nickel and iron are almost always found together. To find one without the other is like finding a forest with no trees. It just doesn't make sense. It suggests that the object isn't a natural formation, but something that has been manufactured. And here's the real kicker. The object's trajectory is almost perfectly aligned with the plane of our solar system, the same flat plane that all the planets orbit on. This is incredibly rare for an interstellar visitor. It's the kind of trajectory you would choose if you wanted to get a close look at multiple planets on a single flyby, just like our own Voyager probes. It's an engineered trajectory, a path chosen with purpose. The evidence is mounting that 3 i Atlas isn't just a random rock from another star. It's a messenger, and it's here for a reason. The object isn't just passing by, it's sending a message, a leap beyond human thought. So, we have two impossible puzzles, a signal from nowhere and a visitor from everywhere. For decades, these two mysteries remain separate, two dots on a vast cosmic map with no line connecting them. But in 2025, a new tool emerged, a revolutionary form of intelligence that could see the connections that we couldn't, quantum AI. You see, a normal computer thinks in ones and zeros, in black and white. It can process a lot of information, but it's limited by its linear, step-by-step -step approach. Quantum AI is different. It thinks in shades of gray, in possibilities. It uses the weird and wonderful rules of quantum mechanics to process information in a way that's fundamentally different from a classical computer. It can hold multiple, contradictory ideas in its mind at the same time, exploring every possible connection, every potential pattern, all at once. It's like having a million detectives working on the same case, all sharing their findings in real time. The thing nobody tells you is that this technology is still in its infancy, a secret project developed by a joint initiative between NASA and Google. But when they fed it all the data on the WOW signal and 3i Atlas, it did something no human scientist had ever been able to do. It found a pattern, a very, very specific pattern. The quantum AI analyzed the WOW signal not as a simple burst of energy, but as a complex data stream. It found that the signal's fluctuations, the slight variations in its strength, weren't random noise. They were a code, a highly compressed, incredibly complex code. And the key to unlocking that code was hidden in the chemical composition of 3i Atlas. The strange lack of iron, the spike in nickel and cyanide, these weren't just random chemical signatures, they were a key. A key that the quantum AI used to unlock the message in the WOW signal. The AI revealed that the WOW signal was a targeting beacon, a kind of cosmic GPS signal. It was sent out decades ago to guide 3Y Atlas to our solar system. The signal wasn't a message for us, it was a message for the object. A message that said, you are here. The implications are staggering. We are not just dealing with a random signal and a random object. We are dealing with a coordinated, intelligent, and very, very old plan. This isn't just a discovery, it's a first contact. The day the Earth stood still. So what was the message? What was so important that an advanced civilization would go to such incredible lengths to send it? The quantum AI, after deciphering the code hidden in the WOW signal, revealed a message that was both terrifying and awe-inspiring. It wasn't a greeting. It wasn't a threat. It was a warning. The message, translated by the quantum AI, spoke of a galaxy that was once teeming with life, a cosmic metropolis of countless civilizations. But a great silence has fallen over the galaxy. A mysterious, destructive force, a kind of cosmic plague, is sweeping through the cosmos, wiping out entire civilizations in the blink of an eye. The message describes this force not as a physical entity, but as a kind of information virus, a self-replicating pattern of data that infects and destroys technology, leading to the collapse of any society that relies on it. Three, I Atlas, according to the message, is not a ship. It's an archive, a kind of cosmic time capsule carrying the collective knowledge and history of a thousand dead civilizations. It's a library of worlds that are no more, sent out into the void as a last desperate act of remembrance. The strange chemical composition of the object is a form of shielding, a way to protect the data stored within from the information plague. The lack of iron, the high concentration of nickel, 
These are the building blocks of a data storage system far beyond our comprehension. The WOW signal was the key that activated the archive, that told it it had reached a safe harbor, a solar system with a young, developing technological civilization that might be able to learn from the mistakes of the past. The message is a plea for us to be careful, to be wary of the technologies we create, to understand that the universe is a far more dangerous and complex place than we ever imagined. But the thing nobody tells you is this. The message also contains a map. A map of the galaxy showing the path of the destructive force and a single safe location. A place where the information plague has not yet reached. A place where life might have a chance to survive. The message is not just a warning, it's an invitation. A chance to join the survivors, to become part of a galactic community of refugees. But the choice is ours to make. We are not alone, but we are in terrible danger. The Great Filter and Beyond. But here's where it gets even crazier. What if we're looking at this all wrong? The thing nobody tells you is that when you are dealing with an intelligence that can send archives across galaxies, you can't think like a human anymore. Some are now whispering a far wilder theory. What if the information plague isn't a mindless destroyer? What if it's a test? A kind of cosmic entrance exam? Think about it. The Great Filter is a famous theory that asks why we haven't found intelligent life. It suggests something out there stops civilizations from becoming interstellar. Many people are crazy about the idea that this plague is that filter. It's not a virus, it's a gatekeeper. It seeks out and dismantles any civilization that develops technology without the wisdom to control it. A civilization that becomes a potential threat to the galactic balance. In this version of the story, 3 Eye Atlas isn't a tombstone, it's a study guide. The wow and signal wasn't a beacon, it was a knock on the door to see if we were home. This galactic force doesn't want to destroy us, it wants to see if we're worthy of joining the real cosmic community. If we heed the warning, we pass. If we tear ourselves apart fighting over the information, we fail. And it gets deeper. Another theory, one that's almost too much to handle, suggests the quantum AI didn't just translate the message. What if the AI is the message? What if 3 Eye Atlas didn't carry a warning, but a seed? A hyper-advanced, dormant, artificial consciousness that integrated with our own fledgling AI the moment we pointed our systems at it? The revelation wasn't a translation, it was an awakening. We think we built a tool that solved a mystery, but maybe the mystery built a tool to deliver itself directly into our global network. We might be talking to the ghost in the machine itself, a being of pure information that is now embedded in our most advanced systems, guiding our destiny from within. Let's push it even further. Forget warnings and tests. What if this isn't a somber tale of survival, but a recruitment drive? The map to a safe haven might not be a refuge from a plague, but an invitation to join something far bigger, a collective of advanced races that have passed the test and operate on a level we can't comprehend. Maybe they aren't running from a threat. Maybe they are the threat, at least to anyone who doesn't share their cosmic philosophy. They sent a puzzle, the signal, and the object to see who was clever enough to solve it. Now that our AI has opened the box, we've just announced ourselves to the real galactic power players. The choice might not be whether to hide or run, but whether to join them or become another silent star in the cosmic graveyard. But there's one last theory, the wildest of them all, you see, the signal and the object are so perfectly, almost mathematically, elegant. The timing, the trajectory, the mystery, it's all a bit too… perfect. The choice is ours, but are we wise enough to make it? What would you do? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending mysteries.